how to create amazing stars in Affinity Photo. Something like this, really super colourful star. Now that uses layer effects, it also uses filters, and has also been tweaked in numerous ways. So I'm going to show you how. Go firstly to the star tool. Now, this doesn't particularly look like a star. It's a layer, it's a star, but it needs a bit of refinement. You can change various things. You can change the stroke, you can change the width. You can also change the fill. And you can also go to the presets so you can get a more conventional star. Now, this was a star I created earlier. So just go to the presets and click on one of those presets. So you can see the stars, a more conventional star. So I'm just gonna go with a basic star now. You can change the number of points. You can also change, and I'm gonna go show you quickly, curved edges and change, the settings will change when you click that. So curved edges and go to left curve and right curve. You can also modify the settings interactively by those little, little dots. You can just drag that out and you can see at the same time, the settings change in those little sliders. Now, I'm not gonna go with that. I'm just gonna, gonna go back to a more conventional style, but I wanted to show you there's numerous other options. Deselect that. And change the points again. And now what you can do is you can change your inner radius. You can see that just goes slightly inner. You can really push it in. You can pull it out. Also, outer circle, you can make it more round start. You can also do the same with the inner circle. So there's an inner circle setting. Again, interactive as well. And again, you can go through the presets. I'm just going to go for that one or maybe one of the others. Now, these some of these are ones that I've defined earlier. So you can see a little marker against them that they've been user defined. You can change, like say, the color. So go for yellow or orange or blue or whatever. You can also change the stroke, maybe red. You can change the width. You can also go for dashed lines. You can see you've got dash settings there. So maybe, maybe make those smaller, make that gap between it smaller as well. So you can see more of those, maybe add some variation in as well. You can also modify the cap and join and create a whole range of different dash designs. And you can explore the different settings there. You can also align out or in or both. And you can see you can create a whole range of different designs. So once you're happy with that, you can stop at that point. However, now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to completely ignore it because I'm going to go for the brush setting. Now to use the phase bit just there, you need something in the other, those other ones there. So I'm just going to go for, say, one there. And then change the phase. You can see it changes then. This is what I'm going to go for, the brush. Now I'm just going to go down to the pressure. Now you can just drag that line down or push it up and you can see straight away what happens is the stroke profile changes. Really, really nice. So you can create all kinds of different profiles for that. And also you can modify the press join and you can see it rounded or... Now, I'm going to continue. So points, you can modify the points again. And now what you can do, you can actually add that to your presets. Now the preset doesn't save the, the brush stroke or the dashes, etc. It just saves the design itself, the radius, etc. You can create a preset there and you've just added it there. And now you can go back to it anytime. You can select all the other presets or your own preset. And then, of course, what you can do, you can still modify it 
even more. You can resize it, rotate it. What also you can do, just go to the Move tool and then hold down the Alt key or Option key and you can duplicate that star. Resize that a bit. And of course you can repeat this multiple times. So you can create three, four, five, six different stars. Now you can change the color of the inner star. Now you can also group them. Just go to the layers and group. So they won't become one group. So you can move them around and... Now, at this point, you can't change the settings here. So what you need to do is go expand the group. So just go down there to expand and select an individual star. And then, then change the points. Like the radius, outer circle, and so on and so on. Go back to the group, and there you've got your design there. Now, I don't want that in the start, because I'm going to go and add some additional features. So, convert to curve. So I'm just going to convert. Now, no longer will it be a star. So you can't change the star settings. But what you can do, you can manipulate the nodes. So just go to the node tool. And I say, that's it. You can't do anything with the star. So if you try and set anything, change anything now, it, they're just not available. Go back to the node tool. And what you can do, select the individual nodes. And just drag those out or drag them in. And you can create all kinds of unique star designs. Just by doing that, just drag that in, drag that out. Select as many points as you want or not, or nodes. And again, you've still got that brush design around it, which of course you can tweak at any point as well. And again, you can also do the same as before. Just go to the Move tool, Alt, Option, Duplicate by dragging, and then tweak that as well. So you can combine that into create all kinds of really unique sort of bursting energy stars. And you can change the color, as well as the brush stroke, dashes. But I'm not going to go with that. I'm just going to delete that. I want to continue with that star. So. Now, what you can do, you can go to, it's going to go to the filters. Now, I could also be using the live filters at this point, but I'm just going to go with a filters. So it's a destructive effect. So colors and procedural texture or halftone. You can use any of the other filters as well, but I'm just going to go with the procedural texture one. Colors, procedural texture, and you've got presets. So you can swap colors there, invert red. You can also add checkered effect. You can modify the settings. Now, you'll notice there's a whole range of other presets there. Created many others, and I've done videos for those. So you, if you want to check, check out those other videos on my channel. And again, you can change various settings there. There's another preset. You can move that around, change the various color settings, circular noise, and so on and so on. There's a whole range of different effects that can be added to that shape, that star design. Now you can change all the various settings at any point. Set the another preset. Now I've just run through all those, so click apply. And once you've done that, you've got your design. Now it's a destructive effect, so that's that. Probably a better option would be to use live layers, live filter layers. It's a non-destructive effect, and you can apply all the filters that way, or most of them anyway. I'm not going to do that, but you can combine them to create even more colorful designs. Select that layer. 
Again, to see the layers, if you can't see the layers panel, just go to View and Studio and Layers. What you can do right at the bottom, you've got Layer Effects and Adjustments. So I'm just going to go for one of the adjustments, maybe HSL. And what you can do then, you can change the colour. Tweak it all kinds of subtle ways. Use your blending modes as well. Right, now you can see that's applied above the, the pixel layer. Probably better to actually use a live adjustment, but again, you can just apply it. In this case, it's, it's with the group, so it's applied to that. What you can also do, just go down again to the pixel. Make certain you select the pixel layer. And then go to layer effects down the bottom. Just go down the bottom, select the layer effects. Then you can add a bevel, soften, change the direction. Maybe add a shadow. Also, you can add a gradient overlay. Now at this point, what happens is your color's suddenly gone. You can't see it, but you still, you've got blending modes. So you can just go through, or blend modes as it's called here. Maybe use difference, lighten, up to you. You can also modify the gradient. So just go there, just click on that and just add some stops or maybe use a different type, elliptical. You can see you've added a stop. Now you just go down to the color, click on that and change the color. Maybe make that to blue. Now, some settings, depending on the type, are completely ignored. Go for conical. You can then use angle, offset. Again, blending modes, just go through those. And once you're happy, click close. And there you have it, a unique star. But what you can do, of course, you can maybe go to the Move tool again, and then just drag, drag that out, holding the Alt Option key, and maybe duplicate and create multiple stars of that design. So literally thousands of stars can be created. Hope you found this of interest. Please subscribe. Also, please add some comments. Please add some dislikes, likes. Thank you much.